Bye. How are you? Fine. You? Fine. <laughs> are you finding what you need? Are we able to find some yeah. research articles? But, well, I think, well, the idea about phonetics is eliminated because of um, time. Okay. I, I decided to continue with the idea of authentic materials, but I don't know if it's correct. I just the words the use of authentic materials in pronunciation activities. Okay, so we still want to focus on pronunciation or pronunci pronunciation activities? Mm -hmm. Okay. But use of authentic materials. Mm -hmm. Do you have some examples like uh, with other research? What other? You mentioned video, right? Uh, yes, I have uh, this one. Okay, so authentic materials of discussions, which I'm not sure exactly what that is, and newspapers, so newspapers would be one. Uh, now, was this a survey? This sounds like a survey. Were they just asking about... Yes, I think uh, so. Yeah. Okay. So, what you probably want to do is choose one or two of these. Internet discussions, newspapers, telephone, and computer programs. Um, Okay, so here there's, they're listing out some advantages. What you could do is take some examples from here <clears throat> and look at how you might research one or two of these advantages. So for example, uh, is this here incidental or improper English Authentic materials could be used for practicing many skills such as scanning. Alright, so I mean, you could look at one of these, or pronunciation. Do they mention something about pronunciation for advantages? Is that something you want to focus on? Is there a search function here? computer video That's it. okay well they they only mentioned computer video so that would be you know one option is to focus on that uh, do you have any other articles okay. That's I think we can use authentic materials, but I think we need to choose one or two. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, because I'm thinking how many authentic materials, unless, yeah. Yeah, because you want to research someone, a teacher, implementing these authentic materials, right, and to help pronunciation. 
So uh, we have to think about who you might observe. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Do you have any other examples of authentic material that you found? Mm, wait. Well, the youngest, mm. like, newspaper, mm, okay. internet, uh, for pronunciation. Program, uh, for pronunciation. I mean, if that's what you want to focus on, because you're mentioning authentic material and pronunciation. So what I'm, what I think you need to find is if those are the two, you need to find research that relate authentic material or an example of authentic material and pronunciation. If you want to focus on other things in authentic material, that's different. But you know, you you're mentioning pronunciation, so try to find research that links those two. You know, and, and this one article mentions video. So if you find one or two other articles about video and pronunciation, video how the use of video to promote uh, pronunciation. And you might even find books in Caddy that I know there's some books on video in the EFL ESL classroom. So if you go in that book and see if there's anything particular for pronunciation, then that you might get some ideas about uh, types of activities that you could research for your study. But the the key here is is pronunciation, right? I mean, if that's mm -hmm. what you want to do. Because if you talk a lot about authentic material in general, because authentic material is really a broad topic, so what I'm proposing, suggesting, is that you get be more specific and maybe choose, you know, just video or some other type, right, that, that would uh, relate to pronunciation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I don't know. I, what other re what other articles have you found? Oh, I have think? one, but it's about reading because it's it's, it's the use of authentic materials in teaching reading. Mm. So do you? I mean, why don't you focus on another area? I mean, if 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 you mm. can't find any research on pronunciation, you might consider focusing on something else. Or or look for. Let's see. I, th I don't know if we did. Do we look pronunciation? Pronunciation. Authentic materials. When in your search, did you try these search terms, teaching techniques or teaching methods and pronunciation? Oh, no. I mean, w w try to broaden your, your search and then, for example, the effects of interleaving versus blocking. Now, we talked about this. Have you looked at any of these articles? No. The effect of instruction and learners' pragmatic awareness. Um, You know, they mentioned pronunciation here. So, pronunciation and teaching methods. Whole class oral, uh, choral uh, reading to improve fluency. Mm. I 
I think you I think your best bet is to broaden your search find something that you want to, to research with pronunciation right and and then later think about authentic material I mean uh, you, you need to make some decisions here about what you want to research and you need to find if you can't find anything you're, you're making it more difficult than it needs to be find research that interests you but that you have other studies that other people have done that are similar to what you want to do so you have a basis to start with to work with okay and maybe that means broadening your search right just start reading and skimming through some of these articles you don't have to read the whole article but read you know the abstracts and try to get an idea about if this is a study that is similar to what you want to do because I think the it's we're not we're limiting our search options if we just look at pronunciation and then authentic materials but here just by teaching methods and pronunciation we have 10 uh, articles here and you might find one or two from here that that might work and this is just from EBSCO if you go to Eric do the same thing go to mixed tea soil journal do the same thing look for this, use these search terms and you're going to get different results here they talk about pragmatic awareness um, I think we talked about this article last class, not the last time we were together. I think um, this might be something to look at, this interleaving versus blocking. Now this is a different situation with French students learning to, or English speakers wanting to learn French, but you know there might be something there that that you can duplicate. I don't do you have any other articles you want to look at that um, that you want to ask well, about? I have some some for pronunciation and some talking about authentic materials but I don't know if they could Alright, let's take a look at it. The synthesis factor related to English language pronunciation. One thing is to do like the, a similar research to find out which vowels, which um, vowels are most difficult to pronounce uh, for to, for students to pronounce. Uh, or
this research that you have here is more about looking at precisely the words and vowels that they have problems pronunciating. This might be a little bit involved for what we want to do. I think we ought to focus more on the teaching techniques, what teachers do, teaching practices, methods, techniques, and or materials that they use to help with pronunciation. And look for research that's and don't really focus at this point on the words authentic material. First, look for um, just techniques or you know uh, methods, and then and go from there. Find some research that you can say, okay, you know maybe I can modify it and base my research on on that. But um, but the thing is, we need to find these research these articles right away, right away, like today. We need to find these, so um, I think you need to, to, to look, try to uh, broaden your search so you get more more results. I mean, if you just type in pronunciation, okay, you, you've got 900 articles. Now, start from there and add a few key terms to broaden it a little bit, okay, and then that way... Uh, Let's see, relationship between L2 pronunciation and culture. Maybe you can do something like that. Find the relationship between different culture and pronunciation. Look and see what, what they do there. And maybe this involves authentic material, perhaps. But, but here, this is some, you know, this is a study that you might, might be able to, to work with. Right, and if this, and if you do, let's see, pronunciation, culture. Okay, 33 articles. Now, question is, can you find two, three articles from here that have something to do with pronunciation and culture? But see what I did? I started off with pronunciation. I got a lot of articles, and then I looked for one other concept: pronunciation and culture. Maybe it's pronunciation and method. Maybe it's pronunciation and technique, whatever. But I, I found that and then I started narrowing my search and now I'll look for this and see okay, cultural awareness and English language teaching, maybe this helps me. Self-directed noticing and defossilization. Okay, maybe there's something there. Okay. Like language attitudes and linguistic features with maybe pronunciation, asking students which words they feel they have problems pronunciating. You know, maybe that's another option. You know, I talked. Uh, we talked about uh, phonetics. Okay, there's a lot of information here about phonetics and pronunciation. So maybe there's something there um, that you can work with also. Okay, um, but are you gonna have time today to look at look up some articles? Yes, I think so. All right, so uh, tomorrow I want if you can tell me, send me an email, come by my office, and let me know if you found a couple of articles. Your goal now today to find two or three articles that you think are really related to something that you can do.
-hmm. okay and you just have to keep changing and playing around with these uh, search terms to get to try to narrow down your search but also be general enough that you can find something and right now I'm throwing out a lot of options but I don't know exactly what what you want to do what direction you want to take uh, thinking about what you're going to examine because that is what we need to define and step two is what do you want to examine specifically right and that the answer to that is based on what you find okay we don't we can't work the other way around we can't say I want to do this and then try to you know you want to try to find the articles first you have an idea about what you want to do but it's all based on what you can find okay. so if you really can't find anything we need to change the topic or change it a little bit you know we can still focus on pronunciation we can maybe focus on materials if we can find concrete studies that have done something you know that relate to material so what do you think okay. see so you can find you can search in EBSCO you can search in ERIC you can search in Gale you can search in mixed TESOL journal you can focus you can also go into the language learning journal that is in the virtual library see you go into the virtual library the university uh, let's see Okay, this article, this journal, uh, where is it? Okay, this is Wiley. So if you go into Wiley here at the bottom and search language learning, then you should be able to access this. This is all within the university. I have access to this, and this is another good journal. Um, but <clears throat> try searching all of these journals, okay. okay? And just keep trying to experiment with different search terms. And tomorrow, I'd like for you to tell me if you were able to find something or not. And after the journals, I will be able to, to find what? Yeah, everything else. Okay, everything that we're working and talking about now with these journals is to fill out this this to make to get it to where you can find something that you can research all right because the way you have it here authentic materials is still a little bit general okay. I'd like for you to say I'm going to find out how teachers use this material or why they use this uh, technique or method all right, so we need to be a little bit more specific here and so we know what direction to take your literature review so the first step is find the articles the second is to update whatever we need to in steps one through four here and then the third step is to go to our literature review organize it like a type of outline figure out okay these are the three two or three or four subsections of our of my theory and then start writing that's kind of the order and it, it you know it's it's all I, there's a reason to that I'm making a big deal about the primary research articles is so that you have a basis for your study that mm -hmm. later you don't have a literature review that is not aligned with what you're researching mm -hmm. all right so I don't want to I'm not trying to talk you out of something that you want to do I just want to make sure that someone has already done research on what you are wanting to research that you want to do because we'll have problems later if if you're doing research on something where that is not related to your theory so 
try to find something today if you can and tomorrow let me know let me know if you have problems and we'll sit down again and we'll look at it and we'll just find something okay but okay. ask yourself make a list of things that you want to know about with pronunciation okay any type of language skill reading writing listening speaking grammar vocabulary um, assessment curriculum planning reflection reflecting all these terms that I'm throwing out can link into pronunciation okay so I'm, I'm my what I'm saying is I want to link this pronunciation with something more specific and try to use all of those terms in your search until you find some articles that are kind of linked to what you want to do that interest you but that there is research out there available okay so tomorrow uh, just come by my office and just let me know how things are how things are going okay, okay. that you found your articles okay because I really I need to know if you found what you're looking for okay, okay. all right so tomorrow, tomorrow we'll talk okay yeah. all right